Judas Iscariot, was in the circle of Jesus' closest companions. Yet, despite the fellowship he had with the Lord, his actions revealed that his trust in Jesus was solely based on his own expectations of a Savior. So when those expectations weren't met, his disappointment led to discontentment, which led him to be open for the devil to enter him. Now, sadly, there are many people today who were once in fellowship with Jesus, but have walked away from him and back into the world for those very same reasons. Now, I need to be clear here. I need to make sure I you understand that I'm not saying that Christians who have backslidden are now possessed by the devil. But I can tell you this. Those who have chosen to live like the world are certainly being influenced by the ruler of this world. So, my friends, if you want to avoid falling into this trap, I want to offer just a couple of suggestions. First, I suggest you let go of what you expect Jesus to be or what you expect from him and simply allow him to show you who he truly is. Does that make sense? Too many people are coming to the Lord with certain expectations. Oh, yeah, you know, that preacher on television told me that if I started giving all kinds of money to the church that, man, I'm going to get all that stuff in return. Or my life is going to be wonderful and great and, and maybe at, at a certain point I'm going to be sinless. And stop expecting and just allow him to show you who he truly is. Secondly, if, you're in a, if right now at this very moment you're in a place of discouragement and disappointment, I strongly suggest going straight to Jesus through prayer and his word, and allow him to clarify for you any confusions and misunderstandings. He wants us to do that. And he told us so in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I truly believe that by doing these two things, every believer will keep themselves from straying from the narrow path that the Savior has set for us. Our Lord said this in John chapter 8, verse 12. I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. <laughs> 